hi besties welcome back to the channel this is so with so me on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this maxi jumpsuit and how you can combine two fabrics to get this lovely jumpsuit so what's at the end of this tutorial do not skip any parts and do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel so for this tutorial i have these two african prints so i'll be using two of them now this is my fabric just one piece i did not fold it into two it's just one piece so we'll be cutting out one piece of the front now i'll be marking in four inches so i've marked out my starting line so from that starting line i'll be marking in four inches so these four inches will be serving as our extension as, as our crotch extension for the front piece so you can mark in five inches or you can equally mark in four inches just like i did so after marking it out i'll connect it all the way down to the full length so this is an off shoulder jumpsuit now from the starting line i'm going to go off by five inches after going off five inches i'll come down eight inches for my armhole which equally will serve in as my chest line so i marked eight inches for my chest line remember i took off five inches for my off shoulder then i marked my bust point which is 10 inches my waist is 16 inches for my hip points my hip point is 25 inches So now we'll label this is our chest line, bust point, waistline, and our hip line. So we'll be taking our crotch measurement and we are taking it from the waistline. So my crotch is 12 inches. I'll add an extra inches to that because this is a free palace, a free jumpsuit. So I'll be marking 15 inches for my crotch length. So this is what I have. So now going up by the five inches i'll take the full length of my jumpsuit so i want it to be for 57 inches but i marked 60 inches sorry that wasn't showing so i marked 60 inches the three extra inches is for my hemming allowance so after doing that we'll take our body measurement on the hip line i'll divide my round hip by four which is 40 and mark then i'll add one inch for ease and one inch for stitching allowance on the waistline, I'll divide my round waist by 4, I'll mark that, I'll add 2 inches allowance to that and 1 inch stitching allowance. So, now we'll come to the bust point. On the bust line, I'll divide my bust by 4, I'll add half inch for ease and 1 inch for stitching allowance. So, we don't want our armhole to show. So, whatever I have on the bust point, I'll take it up to the chest line this way. So, I'll connect from the bust point to the waistline. And from the waistline to the hip point so now this is what i have so coming to the starting line uh, my nipple to nipple measurement is four inches i will mark that i'll add two inches to that making it six inches now i'll connect it down to my chest line this way so this is us forming our armhole so now this is what i have now whatever measurement i have on the hip line which is 13 inches i'll take that 13 inches all the way down to the full length so the measurement i have on my hip is 13 inches so i'll take that 13 inches measurement all the way down to the full length so after marking it out i'll connect all the dots together so now this is what we have we'll connect all our lines together so on the crotch line, I'll be extending it out. So now I'll cover out my crotch line. So just watch how I'm covering it out. So this is why we marked in that four inches. This is for our crotch extension. So now we're done with this part. The next thing we're going to do is I want a little sweetheart on the front neckline. So I'll be connecting from the neck width to the three inches i have on the chest line so watch where i'm connecting from that neckline to the three inches on my chest line that is where i connected so now we are done drafting out next thing we are going to do now is to cut out all the excess so before we get back to the video do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and on your post notification button so that you get notified anytime i post a new video So after cutting out this is what we have so we'll come to the crotch extension side 
so we are going to curve it out we're going to connect it back to the four inches just what we are connecting back to the four inches now we're going to be marking one one inches all the way down to the full length we'll be marking one one inches all the way down to the full length just watch what i'm doing it is simple and easy so now cut out all the excess So this is what we have now we'll be using this piece this front piece now to cut out on our back piece so this front we use it to cut out the back so here i've placed my front on another piece for the back piece now i've extended the back crotch line with two inches so the depth for the crotch depth is two inches so i'm marking 1.5 inches for my zipper allowance Now, I will measure where I want my zip to stop. I will mark that. Then I will take the 1.5 inches. So, from the 2 inches, after connecting the 1.5 one, one, uh, inches zipper allowance, now from the crotch depth that we've already extended, the 2 inches we extended, I'll connect it this way to the 1.5 inches on the zipper allowance. So, for the neckline for the back, I'll extend it this way and connect it to the neck width this way so i don't want the back to be this deep so after connecting this is what i have so for the back neckline i'll come down one inch and i'll connect it to the neck width this way so after doing that we're going to add half half inches on the crotch line this is what we use to join it together so i forgot to say it while we are cutting the front you're supposed to add Half, half inches stitching allowance all around so this is our joining allowance so after getting the half half inches we are going to now trace off all the excess we have on the sides So after cutting it out on the crotch line we're going to curve it out this way just like we did for the front then we're going to mark the same one one inches just like the front piece so mark the same one one inches out to the all the way to the full length so after marking we'll connect the lines together this way then we'll cut out the excess we have on the side So now before we cut off, the toe we go cut on our fabric for the other design. Now we'll be getting our pocket. This jumpsuit has a, a side pocket. So from the waistline, I came down 2 inches from my waistline. And the length, the width of my pocket is 7 inches. So I'll mark that. So after marking it, I'm going to use my scissors to notch it. So that we'll know where we're attaching our pocket. So after notching it, I'll take these fabrics to cut on the other Ankara piece and after cutting it on the Ankara piece I will bring it back to show you what I have so here I have cut out my fronts on the other Ankara piece so this is what I have and what I will do now I will take it to the machine and stitch it to half an inch all the way down to the crouch line so we'll take that out so I work on the back piece so this is for the back piece I've equally cut out the other side on the Ankara piece. So this is what I have. So now I'm getting my zipper. I'll place the length of my zipper where I want my zipper to stop. So get your zip. Where you want your zip to stop, mark it this way. So from that point where you want your zipper to stop, we'll stitch with half an inch all the way down to the crotch line. So after stitching, this is how it is going to look. So I'll do that and bring it back to show you what I have. So after stitching my back, this is what it looks like. So this is what everything looks like. So I'll be showing you what the front equally looks like. So this is what the front piece looks like. So I have equally ironed out the seam. So the next thing we're going to do now, so these are the pockets I have already cut out. Remember the width of our pocket is seven inches. So I have seven inches there. 
and the length i have here is nine inches so i'll be placing the pocket on the notch that we notched earlier while we are cutting the jumpsuit so i'll place it this way i will stitch it down and after stitching i will top stitch then i'll bring the other side of the jumpsuit i will probably place my pocket on it on that notch i'll stitch it down after stitching then i will top stitch on it so this is my bias we'll be turning the armhole with a bias so we'll place the armhole the bias on the right side of the fabric on the armhole then we're going to stitch it down after stitching it down i will turn it to the wrong side this way then we'll top stitch so whatever i do for the front i'll do it for the back so i'll do all that and bring it back to show you what i have so after stitching my jumpsuit my front this is how it came out looking so here i've equally cut out my strap for my sleeve so what i'll do here the length i have is 11 inches remember our strap is supposed to be 10 inches because we took off half five inch for the front five for the back so now i'll place it on that pointed edge and i'll pin it down i'll place the other side on the pointed edge and i'll pin it down so this part i was actually struggling with this pin So after pinning it down, this is the fabric I have that I've cut out for the facing is one inch. I'll place it this way. I'll stitch it all around using quarter of an inch. I'll stitch it all around. So after stitching, I'll turn it to the wrong side. So I'll do that for both the front and back and show you what I have. So after stitching my strap, this is how neat everything came out looking. So now this is my back piece. I'll be placing the front on it. So the strap for the front, I'll place it on the neckline on the back piece this way. And this is the facing I've cut out. So I'll place my strap this way and I'll use the facing to turn the neckline. After turning in the neckline, I'll turn it to the wrong side. Now I'll probably place the other strap on the other part of the neckline this way. Then I'll use the facing to cover it. So I'll stitch it down and equally sew it on the wrong side. So I'll do that and bring it back to show you what I have. So after stitching my strap, this is how neat everything came out looking. Now I'll turn it to the wrong side. And guys, before I forget, make sure that the fabrics are facing each other. Do you see how the red is facing each other and the one that has multiple colors is facing each other? So while cutting, do not make that mistake. I forgot to note that out. So now I'll place my fabrics right side facing each other this way. So remember we added one in stitching allowance. So now I'll use that one inch to stitch all the way down when i get to the pocket i'll lift my needle and stitch my pocket after stitching my pocket i'll use the one inch and stitch it all the way down to till i get to the full length of the jumpsuit so after stitching the both side i'll come to the crouch line side i'll hold it together this way right side facing each other and I'll stitch the crouch with half an inch all the way down. So you see the way I'm doing it. Take your time. It is very simple. So I'll use half an inch to stitch my crouch line all the way down to the full length. So I'll do that and bring it back to show you what I have. So after stitching my jumpsuit and adding my zip, this is how everything came out looking. So thank you guys so much for watching up to this point. And this is how my front piece looks like. Um, for the full, for the hem, I've equally hemmed the lower part of my trouser. So thank you guys so much for watching up to this point. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and on your post notification button so you get notified. So see you on my next video. Bye.